welcome everybody so today we will talk about how to create this uh, light effect uh, a GoPro filter for the light to create like a window effect also we will touch on the volumetric light as you can see that's coming from the light so these two principles we'll talk about and it will be with the Houdini and Arnold render the remaining uh, demonstration of this effect of the sand, the grain, and the vellum expansion is explained in another tutorial. So please also watch that tutorial. And thank you for the support. So for uh, part of this scene, we have these three status. I disable all of the light. It's being disabled, and we will create the first light. So here we will create a light. Let's call it our load test light. Let's view it. Our load test light. Just place it like this. <coughs> the first thing we we'll talk about is the GoPro. So we need to make sure it is a spotlight. Let's have some intensity. And let's have a render output. So in the render, take one of the cameras. Let's just check one of the cameras. Okay, camera one. We'll go with the test light camera one and render okay so this is our view let's increase the light let's make it 50 now to add the GoPro filter what we will do, we'll go to the material and we'll create uh, Arnold material. So this one will go, we'll call it Gobo. Here we need to create an output and that's a light output. Okay. And then we have a couple of filters, light filter, barn door, Gobo, light blocker and light decay. We'll use a Gobo. Okay, so this is the node and we need a texture. So we'll use one of the files. Let's take this one image. And in the image, let's choose one of the lights. So we have all of this kind of light that we'll use it as a GoPro. Abstract. Let's pick one grid. Forest. So let's say we'll use this one. Let me stop the render. Here I connect the RGBA to the slide and the light filter to the light filter. And let's give it a go. Maybe I'll just fix my camera's position, something like this. And I will increase the light intensity, let's say 100. as you can see nothing will happen what you need to do is go to the filter in the light go to the filter and point it to the material go exit and go filter again so as you can see now we have the light let's increase the density even more and right click and give it color okay. 
and now let's play with the material here you can play with the offset as you can see the scale and the blending mode place add subtract and some mix here in the density we increase it see how much it will affect and here the UV and flip it maybe we can change the uh, the image or something else Let's see the caustic we need to refresh choose another Cloud will be nice. Here I'm using the armor. Yeah. Let me just create another render. Arnold render. We we'll call it. the test good and then the light the filter contribution let's play with the camera maybe I can split it sorry Here in the light, let's play with the spot radius. Roundness, cone angle, you can increase it or decrease it. And make it a little bit soft. So now we'll go to the volumetric lighting. So to create the volumetric light fog that you will see that's coming from the light source, uh, we'll continue from here. We have this light with some gobo. What I will do, I will go to the material. I will create another Arnold material. 
let's call it volumetric go inside and inside it I will uh, make an output for environment we have a UV camera environment light output material output I'll use environment and right click and I will choose atmospheric volume there is fog but I will use atmospheric volume and in the atmospheric volume more the shader I will connect it to the atmosphere okay then I will go to the render node in the main I go down to the environment and I will select the fog uh, the volumetric So now when it will render this refresh it and still nothing is happening I'll go to the atmosphere and I will start to increase the density and as you can see we start to have some volumetric lighting And it will take in count the gobo that we installed in the first part attenuation this is the maximum How it will affect the attenuation it's getting more darker intensity how much will be visible and it's positive and negative value How much it will mix with the camera and how much it will affect the diffuse and you can modify the volume itself The most important step is to add it to the shader here. And that's the render output. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share and participate in my membership. Thank you very much.